archives of the Arctic and parts of the Antarctic are retreating at alarming rates. It's been here in the Arctic that the pack ice loss has been extreme. This video shows how the pack ice grows and retreats each year, but also how since 1984, overall the Arctic pack ice is retreating. In the Arctic, pack ice is hemmed in by land. This means that the ice can't drift out to sea and melt, so quite a lot of it doesn't melt. In fact, flows raft up together and continue to grow year after year and become incredibly thick ice flows. This is multi-year ice. But unfortunately, there's been a 17-fold reduction of this incredibly important multi-year ice. This is bad news for the animals of the Arctic pack ice, as this thick ice is incredibly important habitat for wildlife, animals like polar bears. Polar bears rely heavily on seal fat. It's calorie dense, so ideal for quickly building up fat stores. In the winter and spring, the bears stalk the ice flows to hunt seals. The seals use the ice to rest, but also to give birth and raise their pups. But as the pack ice coverage shrinks and the ice itself becomes thinner and more broken up, polar bears lose hunting grounds. But there's a second problem. Although polar bears are strong swimmers, they can't swim vast distances without a rest. They use the flows to rest not only for themselves, but also for their young. As the ice flows disappear, they need to swim over greater distances to find ice haul outs and to find seals. So they now need to expend more energy than they would normally. And because polar bears are large carnivores, they need to eat enormous amounts of food to survive. For example, one 55 kilo seal will sustain a bear for just over a week but the bears are foraging to build up fat reserves that they'll need over summer when food is scarce. So they need to eat more than just one seal a week. But the Arctic now has shorter cold periods than before. The pack ice forms later and melts earlier. This means that the polar bears have a narrow window of time to put on those crucial fat reserves, yet a longer time over which these fat reserves are needed to last. It's predicted that polar bear populations are likely to decrease by 30% in the near future, further still if we can't halt this trend of sea ice melt. OK, so when environments change, animals that are superbly adapted to the current situation might not survive. Perhaps this will be the case for the pack ice adapted polar bear. In fact, in the past there was another massive marine bear that lived around 20 million years ago. But loss of pack ice is not only about wildlife, there are other implications. It's not about increasing global sea levels, well, not directly, as the pack ice was formed from the freezing seawater anyway. As it melts, it returns back to the ocean it came from. But the loss of pack ice impacts the regulation of the Earth's temperature. The bright white surface of the pack ice means that the ice reflects much of the sun's radiation. In fact, clean pack ice reflects around 80% of the solar energy that reaches its surface, bouncing some of that back out of our atmosphere. Whereas ice-free water is dark, it absorbs around 90% of the solar radiation, warming our oceans so that the Earth keeps this extra heat. But as pack ice melts, it gets thinner, so that the darker water underneath can show through. That stark white ice becomes slightly grey. The greyer ice, the less reflective it is, so more solar radiation is absorbed. The ice melts further, becomes darker still, and so on. The cycle repeats until the ice melts completely, exposing the dark ocean below. Now instead of most of that solar radiation being reflected, that heat energy is absorbed into the ocean. As we lose pack ice, our oceans are no longer as insulated leaving our polar systems more vulnerable to further melt. This is one reason that temperatures in the Arctic are increasing at twice the rate of the rest of the world. The Arctic is changing so rapidly that the marine system has been unable to respond and adapt to these shifting conditions. I've talked about impacts on the polar bear, but these changes are affecting every part of the marine system, from viruses to whales. And for the Inuit people living in the Arctic, these rapid changes threaten their livelihood and their culture.